after one of those super sweaty high intensity interval training sessions, our body is doing multiple remarkable things. One of those things being activating the AMPK cascade, which is quite literally a superpower for fat loss. And we're gonna get all into that. In order to understand when we should eat after hit, we have to understand how hunger works in the first place. I mean, because honestly, the answer is just to eat when you're hungry after hit. But we have to understand the mechanisms behind hit and hunger and how they're connected to get a more full understanding of when we should eat. Hunger is a particular response that's dependent upon our body's energy levels. So we get hungry based on how much potential energy is in the body. The body isn't gonna send out a hunger signal if we're deficient in a nutrient. So for example, let's say that our system doesn't have enough vitamin C. The body isn't gonna send out a signal like, hey, you should eat, you don't have enough vitamin C. It doesn't discriminate at that level of specificity. It takes a much wider approach when we're talking about energy. It's more like, hey, you're lacking up potential energy, I'm gonna send you a hunger signal, you should eat. What is that potential energy? Glucose. Our body receives energy from glucose. Now listen in on this. Glucose isn't the actual source that powers our body, rather it is the fuel to create the source, which is ATP. ATP is the actual energy currency, the actual power of the body, and it is being made every single second by our cells for our sheer existence. While we're talking about ATP, let's break down this AMPK cascade. This is what makes HIT so spicy. It's what makes you ask people, why are you still running cardio? So what are you doing running? And you're saying it was really good out? It's the perfect texture for running, very low impact. Out here, like you said, running, sledding, just enjoy. This has a huge impact on when we should eat. ATP gives us energy through the bonds of its molecular structure. When this bond is broken off, energy is released like a little explosion. It goes from ATP, T means try for three, to ADP, D means die for two. No need for full names, they're forgettable at most. The bonds of this ADP are still useful as the cell cleaves off another piece. And now we're left with AMP, M meaning mono for one. This is the process that takes place at a relatively slow rate when we do what we call steady state cardio, your typical cardio. It isn't until the body can't keep but with the demands of the working muscles that it needs to turn up the heat. AMP accumulates and AMPK is born. AMPK itself is actually an enzyme. An enzyme is just a molecule to assist chemical reactions in the body. What is it assisting in this scenario? We need more power. And this isn't just going on in one cell, this is going on in multiple cells and this signal for more power is being amplified throughout the entire body. As a result, a bunch of stuff is taking place that we're gonna break down on a deeper level in a separate video. I'll probably add that to the end of this one when it's made. But in terms of when we should eat after hit, the most important thing that happens from this AMPK cascade is that the free glucose in the blood and the stored glucose, which we call glycogen, is mobilized and burned on the spot. So you can think of hit causing this massive energy reset by nearly clearing the body of its glucose. Doing HIT causes the body to target glucose and glycogen on the spot, but we still need more energy and that AMPK cascade is so powerful that we're able to tap into some of those fat stores that we're carrying. Fatty acids, the fat on our body, is so rich in energy and not only does the intensity of our HIT training cause us to tap into those fat stores, but it simultaneously tells the body to stop storing fat. And here's the key, this cascade can go on for quite some time after a HIT session. Remember, our hunger signals are based on energy. So if the body is still in this cascade mode after the hit session, you may or may not feel hungry at all. So why is the answer to eat when you're hungry? Because that hunger signal that you get after doing hit is one of the truest hunger signals you're ever gonna get because you just used up a lot of energy. Leave a like, please. I don't need you to sub or ring the bell. Just a simple like, that's all I'm asking. I'm gonna get about y'all way. Voice of Regina here, check the pinned comment. I wanna add that to the end of this video, but I wanted it to be under four minutes.